Have you ever watched footage of your swing and noticed that when you see that footage, your swing path works from outside in, generally creating a slice, or from inside out, generally creating a hook? You put a ball down there and for the life of you, you can't replicate that correct swing, which you can do with your practice. Chances are it could be because of your balance. So let's have a look at that today. Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you become the best golfer you possibly can be. And if you hit the subscribe button here, then you'll be able to have a look at the well over 200 videos that I've got online. Don't look at them all at once. It will do your head in. It'll even do mine, and I'm the one who recorded them. The other thing is if you hit the bell notification icon, the gray one, then you'll be notified of each video as it comes out on a weekly basis. So let's talk about today about balance and how it affects your golf swing. So the things that you will already know is that when you set yourself up, set yourself up so that your balance is about 50-50 on either foot with your iron shots. It doesn't matter if you've got a fraction more balance on your front leg, so your left leg for a right-hander, but, but it would only be a very, very small amount. So you might sort of have, you know, 52, 53 degrees, which would make it about 47, 48 on the right. So not a huge difference. However, where some players do get a little bit confused is they feel they need to have their balance forward on the front of their feet. So let's say I was um, receive, standing to receive a serve in tennis, then I have to move. So when my balance is forward, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to move. When I'm swinging a good golf club, however, I'm actually creating forces that want to pull me toward the ball a little bit with my swing. So if my balance is already on the balls of my feet, then that can have an effect on my swing path. And this is one of the most common things that I see with players when they're swinging the club. If we think of other sports, for example, a hammer thrower, and once the, once the hammer thrower has, has got the, um, the hammer turning and they begin to spin, they're spinning on their heels because they're working against the force of the hammer. Now, of course, there's nowhere near that force operating on us as golfers when we swing a golf club, but the way the force works is exactly the same. So when, the club, when you're swinging the golf club, at a dress, set your balance so that it's in the middle of your feet rather than being forward on your toes or back on your heels. And here's the critical thing, especially when you begin your downswing, this, the, the movement of the pressure on your feet needs to be done correctly. So let's go through it. So from the start of my swing here, my balance is even on both feet, left to right, and it's pretty even heel to toe on both feet. When I swing the club back to the top of my swing, my balance is mostly on my right foot, probably 80%, but that pressure is on the middle of my right foot. It hasn't gone back to my heel and it definitely doesn't want to go onto the toe of my shoe. It might, the balance might be a little bit on the, the center or slightly right of center on my right foot, but it's not gonna go so far that I'm going to roll. So I feel like I'm very, very stable when I get to the top of my swing. So I get to the top of the swing, so about 20% pressure on my left, 80% pressure on my right, but I feel very stable there. Then from here, as I swing down, I'm allowing the pressure to shift very quickly back to my left foot. And here's the critical point, and this is where most players go wrong. And oftentimes they don't, even, they, they don't know it. If the pressure goes forward onto the toe of my shoe, my body is likely to straighten up and that can easily cause my swing path to move from outside to in. So there's a relationship between how my balance moves and the swing path. So the swing path can cause my balance to move toward my toes. The balance moving toward my toes can cause my swing path to change. So I need to address both of these things. So from the top of my swing, I feel like the pressure's moving into my left foot, but I feel like it's moving into the middle of my left foot, not out onto the toes. Now that might take you a little bit of practice to get the feel of. Now one little drill that you can do if you suspect that might be the case is set yourself up, lift your left foot. So I've actually lifted my left foot off the ground here. It's only my heel on the ground. And then as I swing down, I feel like I'm trying to get the pressure or keep the pressure into that left heel so that my left foot doesn't go down and the pressure going forward. So if you work on getting that pressure right, 
especially if you find it really difficult, then it probably indicates that your balance was going forward onto your toes in the first place. So get the pressure going through your feet correctly. Um, there are things like body track, which is a pressure mat, which uh, so many of us as coaches have access to now, which indicates how that pressure is moving during your swing very, very easily. And of course, we have one here at Yarra Bend. So setting myself up, just as a review again, balance is even on both feet. See if I can keep my pressure correct as I make this shot. As I go back and through, balance is working correctly. And like any well-balanced swing, I can hold the pose, especially with a good shot like that. So work on your balance and you'll find that it will pay dividends for you with all of your shots. Obviously, the more force you put in, the more difficult it is to retain your balance. So do it initially with less than full swings, less than full pace swings, and see how you go.